When making an unoccupied bed, I first gather my supplies. Linens are usually outside of the room, so I would sanitize my hands before going into the clean linen closet. And I'm going to take my linens in the order that I will put them on the bed. So I have a fitted sheet, a lift sheet, a soaker pad, a flat sheet, and then however many pillowcases I need for that residence room. I would knock on the door, I would sanitize my hands again, and then I have a clean place to put the linens on. I'm gonna turn those upside down because that's the order that we're gonna put them on the bed. Since I'm removing dirty linen, I'll put gloves on. And then I will raise the bed to a good height for me so I don't strain my back. And then I will just gather all the linen into the middle of the bed. I want to check the bed and make sure there's nothing in the bed like dentures or a TV remote or a hearing aid, any of those small things that can get lost. Take the pillowcase off of the pillow and the pillow should stay in an area that's fairly clean so either at the head of the bed or it could go on the barrier there or on the chair if that's clean and then I will put all the dirty linens in a linen bag. Uh, linens can go on the floor but they can't go directly on the floor so if they are in a linen bag that's okay just anything that gets washed can't be directly placed on the floor at any time, just to prevent any pathogens from spreading. Since I'm moving to the clean, I'm gonna remove my gloves, starting from the palm of one hand, turning inside out on the other, throwing those in the garbage, and then I would sanitize again. And I'll start with the flat sheet. I don't want to fluff the sheet up like I maybe would at home because that can spread pathogens throughout the room. I want to make sure that the seams of the fitted sheet are against the mattress so they're not touching the resident. You can choose to either make half the bed and then go to the other side once all the layers are on or you could um, go to the other side at this point. Either one is okay. I put the lift sheet on. Lift sheets typically are a slightly different color like they might be beige or they may have a different thread. And they're always folded in half so I know exactly where they should be on the middle of the bed. The lift sheet should go from about where the shoulders of the resident would be. And then I want to make sure that's nice and smooth so we don't create any pressure areas for the resident. And the soaker pad. There's a quilted side and then a more waterproof side, the waterproof side should go down and right on top of the lift sheet. I'm going to complete that on the other side. sure everything's nice and smooth. And lastly, we'll do the flat sheet. 
Again, we like to have the seams of the sheet away from the resident. If you put the sheet on and you've got it all tucked in and you realized that the seams are next to the resident, you can always just do a cuff at the top to get that away from their skin. So again, you look for that center fold of the sheet to make sure you have enough linen for both sides and that it will be up high enough to cover the resident when they're in bed. We make a mitered corner so the sheets don't move when the resident is in bed. So we're going to tuck the sheet tightly under the foot of the bed. And then I find it easiest to face the foot of the bed and then make a triangle here. So I look at the corner of the bed. There's a 45 degree angle or just like a triangle. Kind of like wrapping a present if you've done that before. Flip that up on the top of the bed and get that all smooth. Tuck that under and then bring that down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it's tucked in tight along the bottom of the bed. Face the foot of the bed. Make that triangle. Tuck that in. And then we don't tuck this part of the sheet down because that can be considered a restraint if the resident is tucked in too tight and they can't move their feet. And we'll get the rest of the flat sheet smoothed out. And then if they had a bedspread or a blanket, that would go on next. If it's thick, we don't make a mitered corner with that because it just doesn't fit underneath the mattress. With the pillow, you wanna leave that on the bed or some flat surface. You can't put the pillow under your chin like you would at home. And then we'll just slide that in. If there's a tag on the pillow, I would put that in the end of the pillowcase. And then we want to cover the end of the pillow. And then the open end of the pillow should be away from the door, just so if there are any pathogens that come in the, through the doorway, it doesn't enter onto the pillow. I would then lower the bed, and I want to make sure that none of the linens touch the floor for infection control. Make sure that it's still locked just in case someone were to come into the room. And then we'll leave the call light right in the middle of the bed. And I would take my dirty linens to the utility, dispose of those, and wash my hands.